Hey, Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, Spirit. All right, we have Entrepreneur. I like it, Scorpio. All right, anything else here for Scorpios? So, Scorpio, you may be an entrepreneur here or looking into becoming an entrepreneur. Ooh, your hard work is about to be noticed. So, for my entrepreneurs, okay, if you've been putting in the work and you've been waiting for your hard work to be noticed, it's about to be, okay? about entrepreneur here for Scorpio and your hard work is about to be noticed what is this about we have counseling your you heal with kind words wise advice and an empathetic ear but it came out in reverse so Scorpio be mindful that you're not speaking to yourself harshly in any sort of way listening to any bad advice at this time you know i kind of get this energy where maybe scorpio people haven't been so kind with their words when it comes to you being an entrepreneur your crafts or craft or whatever it is that you're doing here like you may have not had supportive people in your life, supportive energies. Um, you may not have had or you may not have uh, like an empathetic ear. You may not have somebody who you can kind of vent to when things are, you know, getting rough. Like, damn, nobody's noticing my work. And like, you know, maybe you need some uplifting here. I feel like a lot of you either have missed that or just don't have that. But nonetheless, it's like you're you have been continuously working and putting in the work and um, putting in your blood, sweat and tears into things, Scorpio. So, yeah, your hard work is about to be noticed. Don't worry about people who have had, had unkind words towards you, who have had not such nice things to say, um, who haven't given you the best advice. OK, some of you may be looking into counseling some of you may be getting therapy at this time as well we're looking into that we have music wanting to um flip out or flip over excuse me your connection to music is healing for yourself and others so some of you may be um doing things here with with music you may be uh you know some of you could be counselors during the day and musicians by night producers by night you know it's like you're very diverse in what you do here scorpio some of you may be looking into being an entrepreneur, but doing stuff around the music industry. What else here for entrepreneur? Yeah, you see teaching. Um, tell me about entrepreneur here for Scorpio. You're on, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. If you needed confirmation as an entrepreneur, if you are on the right path, yes, you are, Scorpio. For some of you, if music is not something, is not part of your path, for, although I am picking up for a majority of it, for a majority of the Scorpios I'm reading for it is, but music may just be significant or helpful in some sort of way when it comes to um, your on, this entrepreneurship. Like, I don't know, maybe music helps you motivate motivates you in some sort of way or helps you heal so you can push harder you know i know my go-to music is like rookie of the year money bag yo you know <laughs> like i'm true to this not new to this i'm rookie of the year <laughs> and then we have healer you have the uh you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share with others so some of you may be um, wanting to do some sort of entrepreneurship in the medical field or something to do with um, medicine. Some of you may be healers here. 
Some of you may want to counsel people. What else here for Scorpio? All right, we have justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. And protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. So Archangel Michael is definitely around you at this time, Scorpio, as you go through these changes. <clears throat> Excuse me. In your career, as you're leveling up. Literally, this is protected is right under your on the right path. So your path is very protected. You're very protected on this path, Scorpio. You're safe. You're supported. Keep doing what you're doing. I feel like this, um, there's definitely justice coming in. Um in a sense of again you putting in those blood sweat and tears you're you're going to be seeing those rewards you're going to be reaping those rewards some of you may be in a leadership role here take charge of this situation um well being an entrepreneur you are a leader scorpio you have you have to be your own boss you have to make your own schedule um so yeah <laughs> taking charge of this situation scorpio you are the mother of boss all right Very interesting. Maybe doing a lot of different things here, Scorpio, when it comes to uh, um, being an entrepreneur. It's like you guys can go into the justice or criminal justice field and like kill it you know what i'm saying you could go into the into a, the role of a healer or in the medical field and kill it scorpio music like it doesn't you are so i said this in another reading um i think it was one i did yesterday with scorpio you're very multifaceted i feel it was always meant for you to be some sort of entrepreneur here you were never meant to have you were meant to be the boss <laughs> okay Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there's definitely a blessing coming in, Scorpio. Tell me more about this for Scorpio. Actually, actually, excuse me before I pull on that. Let's get some of these. Give me a little more for Scorpio. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So you could be seeing 333. Ascended Masters are definitely around you at this time, Scorpio. Um, divine Orchestration. So your spirit team is doing things behind the scenes here, Scorpio, to set some shit off for you. <laughs> What other messages here for Scorpios? The great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. Soul tribe. Yeah. Your heart. Everything that you're doing or have done, Scorpio, it's all coming together. A lot of you could be coming together with your soul tribe, meeting your soul tribe through becoming an entrepreneur here. Um, I feel like things are just really going to start coming together in your life. Uh, pay attention to the intuitive hits. I feel like that's exactly what you've been doing because you're already on the right path. I feel like you, a lot of you are in your north node right now. You're definitely in your purpose. We have been Mintakin, Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So you can definitely be a light worker here, Scorpio. A lot of you may feel like you don't belong in a particular place or environment. Um... Some of you may have been in a, you know, a career for, you know, the past 10 years where you felt like you didn't belong. You felt like it wasn't for you. You felt like you were always meant to be an entrepreneur. A lot of you have stepped away from um, your jobs and started to create your own businesses, started to work for yourselves. It's like a lot of you may have been like, when are my when are my people going to come in? When is my tribe going to come in? The people who understand me are on the same wave as me, who understand my entrepreneurial skills and things that I have going on. Like it's got, it's it's about to be noticed, Scorpio. Like you if you're feeling alone or you feel like um misunderstood or you don't belong, like look how your soul tribe's going to start coming in. 
Like, it's people who fuck with you, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is a music thing, it's people who are going to, like, listen to your music, buy your music. You know, um, if you're a healer and you work with herbs, like somebody who's going to constantly come to you, uh, you know, a soul, your soul tribe, people who are who work with herbs, too, or in the medical field or whatever it is, Scorpio. Like, wow. Yeah, look at that at the, at the bottom. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. I love this. Anyone more for Scorpios? <clears throat> Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. And un at the bottom, unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Again, some of you may have released some sort of contract. You may have left some sort of job. The full moon may be very significant here, Scorpio. May 5th um, on Friday is that full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So you may be releasing yourself from some sort of job, some sort of uh, pattern or something here, Scorpio, in order for you to have some sort of freedom. A lot of you are being called to call back your power and cut the cords. Okay. And this could be cutting the cords to people who don't belong in your tribe, who don't believe in you, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. One more for Scorpio. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious, Scorpio. So spirit really wants you to... Kind of dive into your inner child. Have fun. Have fun with what it is that you're doing. Okay? Don't... Um, yes, obviously, I know everybody's going to take their craft seriously, right? But uh, oh, 11.55 of the timer when I said that. But there's a need for you to tap into that playful energy, that inner child. And have fun with what it is that you do. Because you're on the right path. You're not, you know, you're not going down the wrong path. You're not having to backtrack or anything like that. Things are slowly coming together for you. So right now, spirit wants you to have fun. Go celebrate yourself. Celebrate where you are right now. The milestone you currently have achieved now because there's more achievements and celebrations coming in for you, Scorpio. We have deep replenishment, retreat, re retreat, rest, and be held. Yeah, there's a need for you to kind of like replenish your energy, Scorpio, because I feel like things are going to um really start kicking off for you when it comes to the work that you've been putting into your stuff okay yeah awakening you may be going through an awakening there may be your soul tribe may be awakening at this time and this is how you kind of start connecting with them um very interesting 1303 on the timer give me a little more here with entrepreneur and your hard work is about to be noticed the sun scorpio i'm telling you you're gonna be so happy and you're gonna be noticed in the sense of like <laughs> you this <laughs> nothing hides in the light in the sun scorpio you're gonna be seen you know but also there's a lot of happiness and joy coming towards you a lot of success the sun is the happiest um card in in the uh, tarot deck two of cups here at the bottom so i feel like you definitely have like a soul member i'm soul me <laughs> a soul tribe member soul family member here scorpio who may be coming in this is this could be like a new friend uh, somebody who's definitely part of your soul tribe here somebody who definitely supports what you do and vice versa you support this person too on there i feel like you both are in your true north you're both on the same page here whoever this is feels like a very new energy you could be coming into contact with uh, you could have Leo in your chart, Scorpio, but I feel like you're meant to shine that Leo energy. You know, Leo energy has to be front and center. They have to be like, hey, I'm here. I'm the life of the party type of energy. And that's kind of what I'm getting here, Scorpio. Um, again, your hard work is about to be noticed. Like the sun is here. The sun is going to make you shine. You're about to be shining. I feel like your spirit guides, your ancestors are really proud of you. They're really happy, Scorpio. The way this, <laughs> this card is so cute. The way the sun is smiling here. It just makes me feel like your ancestors are the your ancestors and your loved ones, your spirit team is looking down on you. They're very proud. They're very proud of the work that you put in and 
where you are right now. Again, there's that inner child wanting to come out and play. Mm, why am I hearing that? Oh, come out and play. Like, okay. Your birthday could be November 19th. Scorpio, you could be 19 years old. You could be a 19-year-old entrepreneur on your way to success here, okay? Five of Wands, a lot of competition, a lot of drama, a lot of battles to go through, Scorpio, but I feel like, yeah, you're overcoming this. Seven of Wands. You have all the fight in you, Scorpio. You're standing tall on what it is that you are doing. I feel like you're very protective over what you do. All right, what else here for Scorpios? The Four of Swords. So there's that rest and relaxation that, that spirit was bringing up in this card. Retreat, rest, be held, deep replenishment. So um, it may be kind of a time to rest here. I get, I kind of get this energy of like, there's no rest. There's no, there's no sleep here, but spirit is wanting you to rest. They're wanting you to sleep. You may feel constantly on guard. Like you have to watch your you know, whatever is going on, you know, like you're, let's say you, you're an entrepreneur, you have a store online and you're also running this business. You may feel like you're constantly on guard having to look and check things out, you know, um, spirit is wanting you to relax. Okay. Sorry about that. Scorpio. All right. What is your hard work is about to be noticed for Scorpio? I have a chariot. Cancer energy. So cancer season could be significant as well as Leo season. So the month of July could be very significant, Scorpio. But there is definitely, your hard work is about to be noticed. There's definitely um, going to be forward movement in that area. So again, keep going, Scorpio. Don't stop. You're on the right path. You're going down the right street here, okay? Keep going towards, don't, don't turn around now, okay? Continue to go towards your dreams, your goals. But also, I feel like there's a need to celebrate the dreams, the goals, and the accomplishments that you've achieved now. You could be seeing 7-7. Seven, seven. Tell me more for Scorpio. Your hard work is about to be noticed. Heavy on the Leo energy. Okay. Five of Swords. Yeah, Scorpio, you know, just as you're going to be noticed by your soul tribe and all the good people, you're also going to be noticed by some haters and some trolls, okay? Five of Swords. This is always my hater card, my troll card. People who are always trying to do something stupid, say something stupid out of just straight up malice, okay? To try to one-up you, to try to bring you down in some shape or form. But Scorpio, I feel like you're completely pro like protecting yourself from these energies, defending yourself from any sort of... um malicious energies like this all right being on the path of an entrepreneur you're definitely going to come across some five of swords energy people trying to sabotage you people trying to um say things out of spite people trying to kind of defeat you um trying to be vindictive doing things out of jealousy like you know but i feel like you guys have a really good um <laughs> really good guard up here for that you're quick to defend yourself against any of these types of energies that try to manipulate you or anything like that queen of wands scorpio this is this is like i love it this is entrepreneur right here okay queen of wands ace of pentacles look at that a financial business opportunity coming in but nonetheless a blessing something solid something tangible here the high priestess under that Scorpio, you may be very, very psychic, very intuitive, but this is you trusting your intuition, leading you towards your nine of cups. Some of you may be receiving guidance. Like you may have, you may be getting, watching tarot readings, getting tarot readings. Um, there could be a specific tarot reader. You're, you know, you're getting readings from to get advice. There's somebody who you may be, going to for advice Scorpio when it comes to these entrepreneur uh, 
this path that you're on for being an entrepreneur, you could be talking to another entrepreneur who's giving you advice. Could be somebody who's older than you, you know, who maybe has a bit more knowledge as well. Queen of Wands here. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to... Scorpio, you are like becoming very confident in yourself or you are, you just are very confident here with this Queen of Wands and somebody wants to tear that down. They want to bring grief here. They want to, they want to bring, oh, I hate these energies. <laughs> like, why can't people just let people be happy and have their success? Because they're blocked in their own path. That's why. Two of Swords. These are people who are confused in their own lives. They don't know. They don't know the left from the right. They don't know. Like. Uh. Meanwhile, you're very confident in who you are and where you're going, Scorpio. You're very powerful, very magnetic. I feel like whatever it is that you are creating and manifesting, you ha it has. There's no no issue in it coming to life. You know. I feel like you have a very um, golden aura about you, very high vibrational being, but you do have energies who try to constantly come in and poke holes in that to try to like ruin your day or throw in some gray skies in your life, Scorpio. But I feel like you're shining too bright and I feel like you're gonna, yeah, you see the hermit. These are people who still need to introspect and look at themselves. Um. Again, strong intuition here, Scorpio. Sunflowers may be very significant, very significant. Um, the month of August may be very significant as well, Scorpio. Um, more around so Leo season of August. Man, this is like Scorpio. This is you fully in your power, feeling so confident in yourself because you know you're on the right path. This I'm telling you, Ace of Pentacles. There's something solid that you're able to begin here. This could even be a new stream of income, Scorpio, but there's definitely an opportunity or a blessing coming in because you've been putting in the work. Eight of Pentacles. Ace, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Again, you've been putting in the blood, sweat, and tears. You've been investing. You've been patient. You've been like really taking care and nurturing what it is that you're doing here. All these, um, lot, these, all these streams of income, everything that it is you're doing, you put your time and dedication into it. You, you do music during the day, you're going to put your all into it. You're a healer by night. You're going to put your all into it. You go to school to get your, you know, uh criminal justice degree you're putting your all into it whatever it is for you scorpio there's justice coming in for you ace of pentacles to the eight of pentacles nine of pentacles that is that is you reaping the rewards of all the work that you've put in being able to sit in you know the you know luxury basically i don't want to say like you're gonna be like gonna be filthy rich i mean shit it's possible Scorpio, very possible. You could end up becoming a millionaire, billionaire entrepreneur. Okay, but none of, look at this. Page of one, a page of pentacles at the top of the deck. There's good financial news coming in, Scorpio. A lot of you may just be starting um on this path of becoming an entrepreneur. You may just be learning and studying it, but Scorpio, there's a lot of success behind it. And if you're already on the path, you're on the right path. Seven of Pentacles coming out. I'm telling you, blood, sweat, and tears is what this feels like. This is specifically for my entrepreneurs. So this is not going to resonate with everybody. Or for those who are looking to become entrepreneurs. Wow. Am I, I'm hearing golden nugget. So Scorpio, it's like maybe you're finding the golden nugget here. Or receiving a golden nugget. Like... I'm seeing a lot of gold here. So a lot of prosperity, a lot of wealth and abundance coming in. A lot of happiness, joy, success. Um, your sacral, your solar plexus chakra may be very significant. So uh, as well as your sacral. So a lot of, you may be uh, having a lot of creativity right now. Your creative juices may be flowing. Um, 
And if they're not and they do start flowing, when, when your creative juices start flowing, Scorpio, it's time to work. Okay, don't don't let that go to waste. It's time to work. Um, also, your solar plexus chakra, which makes me feel like you have been taking your power back, calling back your powers, becoming more confident in, in standing in your power, Scorpio. Yeah, if, there's, if you are under any sort of stress or really overworking your, your yourself like mentally when it comes to like is this going to be a success is this going to be you know how what what is what is the outcome here like scorpio you're going to be fine uh king of swords there may be a need to adapt more of like a logical mindset here some of you could be getting some sort of help assistance or advice from a king of swords here aquarius libra gemini but i feel like this is somebody like they're very wise. They're very um, intelligent. This person could be an entrepreneur themselves. What is this that flipped over? Lord, if I can get it. Queen of Swords. All right, so we have the Queen and the King of Swords here, Scorpio. So yeah, you and someone else may be um, connecting, talking, uh the magician here scorpio I'm, I'm, this is amazing your creativity your ability to you have so many talents this is it this is the magician has so many talents the magician can take the sword and and and, and or the wand or the cup or the or the pentacle or all of it and create so many things the, the magician is diverse is multifaceted is multi-talented and scorpio i feel like there's you have a lot of uh tricks in your bag you know what i'm saying tricks up your sleeve like you can be like oh yeah i'm i can do this i can sew i can dance i could sing i can i can i can read tarot like yeah you could do a little bit of everything scorpio i feel like you have somebody very impressed by that as well um i do feel like there's going to be some sort of conversation here with between you and somebody but i feel like it's a positive conversation there's a, it's like an intellectual type of conversation like this person maybe you learning something off of this person this person learning off of something off of you um i like it i like it i like it a lot this person may also be part of your soul tribe ace of swords and the queen of cups telling you there's breakthroughs clarity scorpio you're very clear or you're going to become very clear on the direction that you that you're on the right path okay spirit is really bringing you the clarity that you are on the right path you are following your heart you are following what it is that you um love your intuition is very spot on it's very correct scorpio queen of cups here um yeah Give me one more here. I feel like there's a need to say with the four of pentacles and the ten of cups here, Scorpio. Don't don't hold back. Don't hold back, okay? Because I feel like you're about to um and don't stay in a place where you feel like I feel like the four of pentacles can be a bit of a stubborn energy um somebody who kind of wants to hold on to all their pentacles and like because they're they might be afraid of like losing it you know but scorpio you're there's no losses here there's nothing but growth so allow yourself to like release any sort of control around what it is that you're building what it is that you're growing here um obviously protecting it from any sort of dumbasses and haters and trolls here but yeah nonetheless i feel like spirit wants you to kind of like don't hold back because there's a lot of happiness and joy that's coming your way total emotional fulfillment here And I'll leave it right there with the fool at the bottom, Scorpio. Play. 
Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Take that leap of faith. The universe is going to catch you. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Scorpio, need I say more? You're not only going to be experiencing happiness, joy, bliss, and peace. You're going to be experiencing the, you know, the money aspects with the wealth, the abundance, feeling secure and stable. Like, this is... You're making... You're building legacies here, Scorpio. You're building generational wealth here. This is absolutely beautiful. If you are an entrepreneur, pat yourself on the back right now because you're doing your you're doing the damn thing. Okay? I love to see it. I absolutely love to see it, Scorpios. Let's get some advice here. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, like, for real. Your hard work is about to be noticed, okay? All right, advice for Scorpio in regards to this. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. I have things to do. Interesting cards that came out, though. I'm going to say this one right now because it was, again, a similar message that, that I was getting with this Four of Swords about spirit wanting me to rest. It literally says, 29, Nana Buluku, she rests to create. <laughs> so you could be 29 years old, Scorpio, your birthday could be October 29th. We also have 38, you could be 38 years, 38 years old or your birthday could be November 12th. All right, one card, spirit, advice for Scorpios in regards to this message. Advice for Scorpios in regards to this message. Thank you. All right, we have 40, uh, number 40, Hayaka, Sorceress of Light. You could be 40 years old. Your birthday could be November 4th. All right, let's see. No, <laughs> no enemy shall defeat you, not by night nor by day, not upon the earth nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. You shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. It literally says play, y'all. I cannot make this shit up. Y'all see that? Y'all pause that, read that. All right. It says, <laughs> you shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play. Be in nature. Feel the freedom of happiness within you, even in this moment. Those, these are your sacred powers. And with them, you shall take every step upon your journey successfully and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. Ask for healing, mentoring, or assistance to support you now. This support will help you feel stronger and more empowered to deal with any challenge and be reassured that your spirit can handle it. There is spiritual protection for you now as you follow the guidance to explore conscious movement and creative self-expression. This can stir up old energy, releasing it from you and allowing vital presence to take hold within you. You are going through an initiation in which you will need to reassert your happiness and joy any time it slips into the darkness of doubt, fear, or anxiety. Take time to dance, sing, drum, and affirm your aliveness with joy and courage. Become spiritually bolder in the face of anything that attempts to diminish you. Have faith in the power of the divine being, the supreme power. You are watched over by love. Mm, I like it. <clears throat> uh, let me see what time is it. 726. Okay. Hayaka, a goddess of Hawaiian culture, watches over the sacred dancers of the hula and the arts of chant, sorcery, and medicine. Here, hers is the medicine of light, sound, and the ability to penetrate the darkness of a lower level consciousness, which is this five of swords energy that I was picking up, which may overwhelm our sense of spirit, joy, heart, in, and inspiration with defeatism, despair, boredom, and even terror. This type of onslaught from darkness comes at certain times to those seeking to embody and enact the light on earth. One of those times is when we feel strong and are making progress, but feel tested to, sus to sustain that higher level of being and awareness even through challenge. Another time may be when we feel weaker, more vulnerable, perhaps fatigued from a challenge and not quite able to summon the quality of joy on our own. 
In all such moments upon the spirit, spirit warrior's path of light, Hayaka assists. Hayaka is said to dwell in a grove of lehu, lehua trees, or lehua trees, which are scare, sacred to her as the place where her spent... Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Hayaka is said to dwell in a grove of lehua trees, which are sacred to her as the place where she spent her time dancing with the forest spirits. Hayaka's name translates as she who lifts darkness. Hai is from lifting of the hip and Aka means shadow. As patroness of sacred dancers, and where's that card? Because we definitely just saw that in the beginning here. Spirit definitely said, change your energy. I don't know where it went, but nonetheless, it was there. Um, as patroness of sacred dancers, she reminds us that with a simple movement of our hip, we can move into dance and connect with joy. It is said that one of the first things that a shaman will ask a person who is plagued by demons or in our our, mar our modern parlance, unable to summon the energy for their truthful fulfillment and sacred purpose in the world is when they last danced. Dancing, whether moving your body to music or symbolically in whatever makes your being light up, is a way to invoke aliveness so that we can tap into the joy that counteracts darkness. Consider what makes you feel like your soul is dancing. Make time and space for it in your life as a practice for sustaining and strengthening your spirit. Part of Hayaka's divine purpose is bearing the clouds, providing rain, thunder, and lightning. Her wisdom reminds us that movement in itself can be healing. <clears throat> when energy becomes stagnant, we can struggle. This doesn't mean we abstain from rest, but rather that then we learn how to rest within the endless movement of life itself. True rest still allows energy to circulate through our beings. This is why we emerge from rest feeling renewed and refreshed. Movement for circulating energy means flowing in relationship with our bodies, minds, and souls, trusting our inner rhythms. Most modern lifestyles make it difficult to live an honest relationship with the mind and body. It can be tricky to find the time and place to authentically and spontaneously honor our natural needs for expression and flow. So we summon our wisdom and creativity to find a way. Hayaka says that we must. We must be willing to move with the storm wisdom within us or we shall be moved by the storm wisdom around us. To either move or be moved. We will be moved by those events which startle us from our routine when we are falling asleep rather than resting and living. Permit yourself to explore a more authentic relationship with yourself and trust that in the process, the changes that will happen and sometimes those changes will include how and where we live and work and with whom we share our lives with, lives with will be healing. Ooh, okay, Scorpio, if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love you guys. Until next time, bye.